Hello and welcome to another Quizy Fire video. In this video, we will cover all types of product recommendations options. Once you build your quiz, go to the recommendation tab. Here you will find different types of available recommendations. So very first is without recommendation. If you have a quiz which doesn't require any product recommendations, then this is the correct option for you. In this one, you can either provide them a discount coupon code or you can redirect them to another page if you want. Also, you can have your own thank you message at the end as well. Now, going ahead to the next one, which is a normal recommendation. In this normal recommendations, there are few options like this, exact match, product limit, and then you have the options like if you want to recommend product with all the variants or just specific variant if you want to recommend whole collection or you want to recommend products but using tags and here are a few other options like if you want to show the add to cart button add to cart all if you want to have a checkout button enabled and so on so in this normal recommendations, let's see how the product recommendations work. So you have your quiz with your answers, then you have to click on your answer and it will open up uh, the product list. Here you can find out all the products you have in your store and you can just check the check boxes and save. If you have already selected the products, then it will show you those selected products so you can easily change them and this way once you link all the products uh, you have to go to the result page and you can write your own title and description for the result page and that's it once this is finished it will automatically start recommending products based on the user answers if you turn on exact match then it will apply the end logic instead of the or logic so it will exclude all the products that are not common between all the answers. Now, if you have the tag based recommendations, then you can add tags to your answers and it will filter out all the products based on those tags and give you a more dynamic result based on the answers to specific users. This is useful when you have a lot of big inventory and a lot of products then this is very handy to use and inside the collection and variants you will be able to similarly choose either a collection or variant for the products now let's move to the score recommendations if you have the score recommendation then you can have a specific score for each answers like this you can add your score and at the end it will calculate the final score and also you can have the basic sum of all the answers or you can have your own formula to calculate the final score also you have the options like either you can decide result based on score range or you can have your own custom score for each result or outcome you can have our own quizify result page or you can redirect them to your specific result pages as well in this score base, you have options to add the title and products and the content for specific score range. And you can have multiple different results uh, based on that. Let's move to our last option, which is type recommendation. So type recommendation is kind of a different outcome based recommendation. So you can first of all decide your different outcomes and name them as a type and then similarly you can tag each answer with one particular type at the end it will find out which type matches the most to particular user and that type of result will be the final answer for that customer so here in the result tab you can set up all different content and products for each of that outcomes and this way you can have a quiz like personality types and others easily so that's it 
this is all our different types of recommendations keep watching other videos to learn everything in more detail thanks for watching and feel free to reach out to our support for any help thank you